You may have studied the blade, but in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, that's not what's really important. What you need to study is the sheath. Sound, beams, explosions, taxes, the sheath has got you covered the way it usually covers your sword. I'm here to tell you why the best way to secure your future is to invest in the sheath. Kind of like a scam salesman. Shit, except for the scam part, it's great. The timing to parry with the sheet ain't super strict. It's like playing DDR or Step Mania and your goods are perfects. Hell, Sacred Sheath can even make your NGs into OKs. Seriously, if you're Sacred Sheathing and a monster attacks you, the sheath will straight up assume control and play the game for you, dodging the attack. I mean, it does cost a bar of spirit gauge and doing the counter yourself is way better, but it's good to know old Sheevy has got your back. Probably cause it's on your back. Wow. It just requests a small spirit level fee in return for saving your life. No big deal. What is a big deal is that the sheath even does loans with a 0% interest rate. Special sheath EI Spirit Slash raises your spirit level if you time the parry correctly. And then, once your spirit level is maxed out, you can invest all those levels back into the sheath for a spirit release slash. The way some people dump life savings into crypto. The payoff is numbers bigger than you ever imagined coming from a blade so thin. Spirit Release Slash even has super armor, allows you to evade, and you can easily begin saving back up those spirit levels once it lands. Truly an excellent investment. Sheath coin to the moon, brother. Just hope the market doesn't crash, cause if the monster leaves the area, you might end up hopping your broke ass across the lands hoping to cash out. No reward without risk though, right? And minimizing risk comes easy once you invest in quick sheath level 3. Three, which allows you to hastily put your sword away like you're stuffing a receipt in your pocket. The monsters will never catch you with your blade exposed again. But wait, there's more. Once the ring goes down, the sheath shifts into maximum overdrive. Its parry gets a significant damage buff as you slip and slide all over the circle of pain. Then. Once the monster's knees buckle from the torrent of blows your weeb stick is blessed upon its body, you dunk the daylights out of it. Well, that's how it's supposed to go, anyway. The only problem is the stupid bitch monster won't stay in the fucking ring. I need a referee to count these clowns out like it's the WWE, cause they're ruining my clear times. This never happened in the speedruns I saw on YouTube. Speaking of which, okay, for real, I know I made a joke earlier that playing Longsword is like playing a rhythm game with all the parries, but I want to make it clear that I know that playing this weapon well takes a lot of skill, especially after the changes from Base Rise to Sunbreak. I mean, I don't even main this weapon, but I can still tell there are tons of subtle optimizations and nuances that go into longsword speedruns, like when to use Helm Splitter, or Skill Swap, or dealing with the ring, where you can't use potions and wire bug recovery without putting away your weapon, which causes the ring to get cancelled, or how often you use Sacred Sheath, or which follow-up option you choose after landing an EI parry, and while the timing isn't strict strict, you do still need to have great knowledge of the monster you're fighting to pull off and place all those parries correctly. I mean, even casual play is almost always more than just pressing the cut button at the right time. I'm not here to make long swords seem like some baby weapon. The point of this video is that both us and Capcom have been looking at this weapon all wrong, giving credit to the wrong thing. I think it's high time we start calling this weapon by its real name. Sheath Sword. Long Sword. Like, the length even matters. Who cares about how long it is? Sheath has been carrying this weapon on its back for far too long. Sword. It fulfills every need. Punish the monsters every deed. If you want to retire with space to breathe, invest your funds into fucking Sheath.